Liquid crystals exist on the boundary of solid and liquid matter. It is in this scientific netherworld that James Ferguson found his calling, exploiting liquid crystals' unique properties. I was the first guy that saw them, what they were really good for. Born in rural Missouri in 1934, Ferguson was naturally inquisitive. I always imagined myself as uh, going out and uh, exploring and finding new things and all that sort of thing. After attending the University of Missouri and then serving in the Army, Ferguson went to work for Westinghouse Corporation. My job was uh, looking at the electron gun and uh, image orthicons. And I invented a couple of things with seals and stuff, but they didn't mount anything. So uh, I got a chance to work with liquid crystals. While at Westinghouse, Ferguson's first important patent was issued for his work applying cholesteric liquid crystals to temperature sensing. I had the one of the, the material that would it's still being used today in <laughs> things. Enter the mood ring, that 1970s phenomenon that changed color based on body temperature. Today, Ferguson's invention is still used for forehead thermometers. But Ferguson didn't stop there. While at the Liquid Crystal Institute of Kent State, he invented a liquid crystal display device for transmitting polarized light. Nobody thought that you could switch polarized light if efficiently enough to make a display with it. And uh, that turned out to be not just one invention, but uh, a number of inventions. He formed Elixco and began making products using his new twisted pneumatic liquid crystal technology. Everybody wanted a James Bond watch, so when they found out that they could have a digital watch and keep the batteries for two years, it became one of the top sellers. And the other thing that place was the handheld calculator. Today, James Ferguson's work permeates almost every facet of our daily lives, from cell phones to TVs and PDAs. But Ferguson is a realist about the inventive process. I have uh, always been willing to let an invention go if it's not, it doesn't look good. And the result has been that I have a very high batting average of issued patents. One of his dozens of patents is the so-called surface mode LCD with its ultra-fast switching speed, used in products ranging from welding helmets to desktop monitors. For James Ferguson, the inventive process comes down to how you examine a problem. One of the things you need to do is look at the whole problem. You, look, you need to look at a phenomenon and say, what's this good for? Or what question can I ask that I've, uh, answer that I've been asked by myself a lot of times, I'd rather do, how do I do this better? Even at age 72, he's still developing new products that are continuing to change the way we see. At his Menlo Park, California office, Ferguson is refining his stereo mirror 3D monitors. Created to allow doctors to operate laparoscopically in 3D, these monitors could one day revolutionize surgery. And Ferguson's system-synchronized brightness control patterns are used by most major television manufacturers to dramatically improve the contrast and dynamic range of the broadcast image. James Ferguson's work has spawned an industry that today employs millions of people and has forever altered the way we view and display information. You look at something that other people have looked at and you, you see a little bit beyond what they saw and it's been sitting out there and you found that diamond that's been lying in the sand.